So this has already been announced for a couple days already, but during the game against the Houston Texans, JJ Watt injured his shoulder and might have to have season ending shoulder surgery. Keyword might, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But when JJ Watt signed here back in May, I'm not gonna lie. The first thing that came to my mind, and I'm sure this came to your guys' as well, is this will be a really good signing as long as he stays healthy. And well, in the seven games JJ played here, he proved he was worth every single penny we spent, and then he got hurt. And if you're someone who just looks at the stats, you'd probably think JJ Watt is having a terrible season considering he only had one sack through seven games, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Before he got injured, JJ was like top two in QB pressures for a defensive tackle. So although we only had one sack, numbers don't tell the full story. And if you've watched any Cardinals games so far this season, you know the impact he's had on games. I mean, we saw how Green Bay was running all over us without him. So clearly he had a pretty big impact. We're definitely gonna miss his presence on the field for sure, but until then, we need some of our guys to step up. I don't know how Kime's gonna handle this loss, but I actually have faith that he'll figure it out. I mean, as soon as Max Williams went down with his injury, Kime instantly went out and traded for Zachert, so I honestly trust Kime in this situation. I don't even know who we're gonna target though, considering the defensive tackle market is pretty dry right now, but I'm like 99% sure he's gonna get something figured out pretty soon. But remember when I said he might have season ending surgery? Well, I saw this article posted by the Arizona the Cardinals talking about some of the things Steve Kime said on a podcast in regards to JJ's situation. And well, some of the things he said were pretty interesting. He said, I know surgery is an option, but at the same time, I think there are some things that are possibly put in place where we want to play this thing out with a little bit more time to see how he responds. To me, if there's anyone who can bounce back and can do it, it's JJ Watt. As far as I know, there's a possibility of return. I don't want to rule anything out yet. That's actually crazy considering the injuries JJ suffered. I mean, look at this. With all those injuries, you'd think he'd need a new shoulder. It almost seems impossible for him to make a return, but at the same time, I wouldn't be super surprised considering he's came back from an injury super early before. In the 2019-2020 season, JJ Watt tore his pec in week eight of the regular season. And at that point, everyone assumed he'd miss the rest of the year considering typical recovery time for a torn pec is around six months. But somehow, some way, JJ returned after just eight weeks, played in two playoff games, and even got a sack in one of them if I'm not mistaken. This just goes to show that JJ Watt's a superhuman and me personally, I wouldn't be shocked to see him back at some point this year. But going back to the article, Steve Kime was also asked about potentially acquiring someone to fill JJ's spot via trade, and this is what he had to say about that. With Corey Peters and Rashard Lewis returning, Kime said that the Cardinals had pieces to help with the defensive line. And as far as a potential trade goes, Kime said he wouldn't close the door on an opportunity if it came up. He said, we're always open for business. Now, like I said earlier, I have no idea who they'd even trade for, but it's always good to keep your options open. It'll be interesting to see if Kime makes a move or not, but from what I saw in our game against Green Bay, we need to address it. Maybe Corey Peters being activated is going to help us. I don't really know. But if we want to make a move, we got to make it soon because the trade deadline is November 2nd and our options are limited. If nothing goes down, I won't necessarily be shocked, but if our run defense looks the way it looked on Thursday, we're going to be in for a long rest of the season. But with that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. But before you click off, let me know down in the comments who you guys think the Cardinals should bring in to fill JJ's spot. And also, if you guys ended up enjoying the video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL and NBA content, so if you're a fan of either of those or both of those, this is the perfect channel for you. But with that being said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out.